what is going on everyone um, my name is Stephen and uh, this video is going to be about uh, creating a Kafka producer and a Kafka customer on the terminal so I'll basically be showing you the commands that you can use to run uh, a basic uh, Kafka um, application on the terminal so without further ado let's get started so um the first thing i need to do here is to um create a a topic so in kafka we have uh, we need a topic that we can use uh that we can send a message to so uh, so i'm going to go ahead and create a topic so what i'll do now is uh, cd into my uh, kafka uh, directory so if i go if i type cd uh, kafka home uh, kafka home is basically the directory to where uh, kafka um, kafka is installed so um, I'm going to the bin, to the bin directory, and use uh, Kafka. Uh, anyway, be, uh, before I uh, create a Kafka topic, what I want to do first is start my Zookeeper and Kafka server. So in order to do that, I'll have uh, to write uh, uh, bin. Uh, uh, Zookeeper, zookeeper start sh and then config config uh, zookeeper dot draw parties. Uh, I think that should work. Uh, okay, I yeah, I think I made a mistake there. It's probably uh, zookeeper um, server um, I need to um, yeah that is probably the code yeah zookeeper server start the sh so okay uh, my zookeeper is running right I need to open a new uh, terminal and uh, I need to start my uh, Kafka server, so I'm going to be in directory uh, Kafka server start sh and config config uh, um, it should be server dot properties. Yeah, that is it. So basically, I've got my Zookeeper and Kafka server running. So what I need to do next is open a new terminal and uh, create a topic. So in order to do that, I'm going to the bin directory, uh, uh, Kafka topics.sh and uh, that's dash create and uh, I need uh, uh, I will save one partition partitions is, uh, one and uh, replication factor is one and uh, my topic name is going to be uh, let me see Kafka to tutorial and uh, uh, I'll use a uh, boot uh, strap uh, server boot strap server and I want to use a local host uh, as my host local host uh, port uh, 9092 so that should create the topic for me right so if I press enter, um, 
okay in order to uh, be sure that the topic is created I will use another code to uh, uh, check so that will be being um, Kafka topics sh so instead of create I will use describe describe um, so I want to describe a topic so I'll specify the topic name which is uh, Kafka uh, tutorial and um, next thing is uh, the local host that uh, I'll use a uh, bootstrap server first boot strap strap uh, server and uh, the host is local host uh, 9092 as the port so if the topic is created it should there you go so I've called the topic Kafka tutorial and so these are just uh, the description of the topic right so so uh, I've got partition count is one and uh, here I've got uh, replication factor one so <coughs> that means the topic is created now that the topic is created what I want to you do is uh, write a, a um, use the Kafka console producer to basically uh, produce some messages into to send some messages into the topic so in order to do that I would write this code uh, this command um, so it's going to be Kafka uh, console uh, producer sh and uh, what I want to do is uh, basically produce the uh, messages. So next thing is going to be topic, and uh, the topic name is Kafka tutorial. Tutorial, and uh, so um, I'll use uh, broker list, broker list, and the uh, host is local host cost on the post number is 9092 so if everything goes well if the command is correct it should give me a producer set there you go so that is the producer set so any message i tap here and as soon as i press enter once i press enter the message will be sent into the topic kafka tutorial so um, in order to um read the message uh, inside that topic i have to write a, a consumer uh, um, i have to use the consumer basically uh, register the uh, um, basically enable the consumer to consume the messages from that topic so i'll open another terminal and uh, uh, use the console consumer so i'm going to bring directly kafka uh, console consumer consumer sh and uh, i'll then go um so basically i want to leave my topic name is uh, i need to specify the topic and the topic name is kafka tutorial yeah so i want the uh the consumer to consume the messages from the beginning right um, all the messages inside that topic so what i'll do here is specify from uh beginning right from um yeah i think from beginning and uh so i'll specify um boost strap server strap um, server and my host is not host um report number is now 19 and uh, so i think that should be it that should be the command 
so yeah as you can see this um, uh, it's working right now so any message I type on I sent to the topic any message I sent to the topic through the producer here it should be uh, consumed by the consumer here so let me say Kafka rocks rocks my word there you go so Kafka rocks my word is there this is going going upgrades Kafka is Kafka better than Brad Brad is thank you So you can see like that every message is every message that is sent into the topic is being consumed by the um, Kafka um, consumer. So basically, that is how you get started with uh, Kafka. So just uh, those are the uh, basic and necessary commands that. Um, you have to use uh, I mean those commands that I showed you um, those are the uh, Kafka basic or necessary command you have to use to uh, work with uh, Kafka so this is just uh, the terminal um, Kafka producer and Kafka consumer so you normally have to write uh, a, a Python or Scala code to make a request to uh, API or different data sources and uh, get the data and using your Kafka producer and send the data into the topic and uh, um, and consume the data um, uh, maybe you want to send the data to your HDFS or some other uh, destination so that is basically what you can use Kafka for it's basically an ingestion tool so that is what I want to say, show you in this video and uh, I want to thank you for watching this video and uh, leave a comment um, uh, let me know what you think and, um, you, you can subscribe and uh, give a like if you want to see more videos like this um, so I'll be posting more videos on uh, data engineering tools Thank you for watching.